sloth. The definition is aversion to work or exertion, laziness, indolence. The failure to act is generally much worse than the failure of an attempt. At least if you try things and fail, you learn from it. Nothing is to be learned, nothing is to be gained from sloth. Let's analyze Joe Rogan's thoughts on this. If I felt like everybody was on the ball and everybody was doing their best, and you know, I'm a generous person, and I think one of the, the things about being generous is if you have the opportunity to do so, it feels really good to be generous, especially if it doesn't affect you. It's not like you're being generous and it's hurting you. You know, so I think it's, it's important, but in passing, like say you're passing love to the left, and there's a big circle of people. The real problem is there's a lot of fucking people that never keep passing the love. They take it and then they walk away. You know, they, there's, there's some people that are always there for you. There's some people and they're doing their best and they're, they're, they're living their life and you're doing your best and you're living your life and you're helping each other. I don't, I don't like a lot of people that are asking for money all the time. I find that shit be very annoying. Sometimes life calls for you. You gotta get off your fucking ass and make something happen, man. Right? You gotta fucking do something, man. You gotta make something happen. And, you know, it's not, hey, you know, we, we really need some food. Do you think you could help us? That's my experience with a lot of people that, you know, are like really into like socialist ideals. A lot of it is because they're fucking lazy, man. They're fucking lazy and they don't work that hard and they don't do their part. And they somehow or another feel like the whole system's unfair, man. Which, fuck yeah, of course it is. Of course it's unfair. Of course it's corrupt. Of course it's fucked up. But that's not why you're a loser. There's a lot of people that aren't losers. Most people are losers because they're lazy as shit. And they want to blame other people for that. And they want to blame society. And they want to blame... Look, society is completely fucked. But guess what? It's not like there's one person that makes it fucked. The whole thing is it's fucked because it's on a foundation of bullshit. It, it doesn't make any sense. But knowing that, you see what it is. Make your path. Make your path. Figure out something that you can do to feed yourself. Okay? Figure out something you can do to put a, a roof over your head. Just figure it out, man. Fucking figure it out. It doesn't mean you have to be a fucking asshole to be successful. It doesn't mean you have to be a part of the system, man. No, just don't, stop asking people for money. Stop being a fucking mooch. Get your shit together. It's not that I'm not a kind person. I'm a very kind person. But I recognize the difference between someone who's in need and someone who's fucking lazy. And there's a lot of people that are just weak. They're weak as shit, man. And they have no philosophy to live their life by. They have no discipline that they've developed over years of trying to accomplish things to the point where they have this sense of, of personal sovereignty. They can take care of themselves. And occasionally, everybody needs help. But if, if somebody will help you if they know that you're the type of person that will help them, and if you know that you're the type of person that does their best. The, what drives me nuts is when someone wants help. I'm like, motherfucker, you're not even helping yourself. Like, look what you're doing for yourself. And you want someone else to step in and manage your fucking situation? That's ridiculous, man. That's, that's, that is the number one problem with the whole idea of everyone together, man. Yeah. The real problem is that everyone doesn't do their fucking part, man. That's the real problem. There's a lot of lazy bitches in this world. There is no big philosophy to sloth. You get what you put in. Put in a little, get a little. Put in a lot, get a lot. Today went shopping. Put in nothing, get nothing. And, uh, I wanted to put it on my credit card. A uh, Washington Mutual credit card. It's a Washington Mutual Visa credit card. And uh, I know I have money on it. I've got my, my statement here. My statement says that I had uh, a available credit of quite, quite a lot of money. Uh, so, uh, no, you know, knowing this, knowing that I have available credit, I went to go use my my card at one place, and uh, it was denied. And I thought, you know, it was one of those things where you where you swipe your card a few times, and it's just a magnetic strip. So I go to the next place; it's denied there as well. Now I have. I have credit, according to the uh, summary that was that was printed out uh, today, Tuesday the twenty-first of July. So, uh, 
So I called, I called the uh, little number on the back of my card, and they said that I had been canceled. And I asked them why. They said they sent something in the mail about it um, on the 16th, and yada yada yada. They really didn't give me too much more information. Um, and then I started thinking about it, and now I want more information. So this is the phone call that I'm going to be making, <laughs> and you guys will uh, listen listen in on it. I hope this works. Please enter your zip code. Your current balance is nine hundred twenty-eight dollars and two cents. Your next move. Please hold while I transfer your call. This call will be monitored or recorded. <laughs> will be monitored or recorded. What questions or concerns do you have? Um, okay, today I went shopping um, and my, my card was denied. And I have a good credit. I have $968 or something like that left on it. So I want to know why I was denied. Your account hasn't been closed, sir, due to high risk. What, what, kind, of, what kind of high risk do I have? Hello? Because after we received your credit information, sir, a decision was made to close your account. Well, okay, I'm, I'm a little confused about that. What information did you guys get that you received to make you uh, come to that decision? Because I, I mean, I pay my bill every month, and last month I paid two, over 200 bucks. Okay, so after we reviewed your credit report with experience, a decision was made by us to close your account because based on that information, you are considered a high risk. Based on based on past experience, is that what you said? Experience, the credit reporting agency. Okay, and I'm I'm a little confused as to why, what like what what they said to make you guys say that I'm a bad. Okay, these are the three reasons, sir. It says average length of time since bank card opening is too short. It also says current or history of severe past due or public record items. It also says total available credit on bank cards is too low. So because of those three reasons, a decision has been made to close your account. Okay. Um. Also, now that I got you on the, on this, um. It seems like you guys are doing that to a lot of other people. If you want to look on a tinyurl.com, um, 5906RG, um, it's off the uh, consumeraffairs.com. A lot of other people, you're canceling those um, accounts as well. Is it for the same reason? I can't, I didn't even understand what you said because it sounds like you're on the speakerphone, so I'm hearing an echo. Oh, yeah. I can't I'm, what you're saying. I'm sorry. It, if you go to consumeraffairs.com, um, a lot of a lot of people are uh, complaining that you're shutting their uh, accounts down too for no reason. They've all been closed for the same reason. It's due to high risk based on information received from the credit bureau. So and that's that. Um, I have a piece of plastic that will always serve as a reminder on how easily companies can screw you over. And uh, yeah, so. Thank you, thank you, Chase, for screwing me and thousands of other people over. Economics and physics are the same. Physics and economics are the same, but the truth is, is that the power elite don't want you to realize this. Remember, social science has its origins in the physical sciences. There's a system to society. Economics can be understood through the physical sciences. Now, I'll give you an example, okay? Uh, when you went to college, you got some loans. Well, everybody does now, uh, but you took out some loans for college. You've got, you also took out some loans for your home. But what is money? There's an objective definition to it. In the past, it was a commercial yen for gold and silver, etc. That's what gave money its value. Nowadays, after Nixon nixed the gold standard, our money is not backed up by anything. The Federal, Res the Federal Reserve just printed out $8.5 trillion quite recently, which has debased our currency considerably. Now think about it. Money is not backed up by anything, and yet it controls you. It compels you. 
what money is nowadays in physical sciences is a conductor. Paper money is a conductor. Think about it. Is it a train conductor? No, it conducts you. you want to go? It conducts you to go out to work. It conducts students to go out and get a job. Where I go. Well, the thing is, is that it compels people to work. It makes them take action. It makes them give off energy. That's what people are. Energy. And what do the power elite want? Energy dominance. They want to control the little batteries we call humans. That we print paper out of we, we print paper money out of nothing and give that to them. And what do the people give? The people give their energy. So just like in the movie The Matrix, using that symbolism, people are like batteries. You give them loans, you give them credit, money out of nothing, you get them to do things, you get to control them. One dollar uh, out of a loan is one dollar of inflation, is one extra dollar of economic control. It's one extra dollar where they gotcha by the balls. And you know I'm right, because that's how America works. That's why that's why Americans are so happy. They're so happy to get into debt. They're ecstatic when they go to the banks to get another loan, to get another loan to pay off their credit card debt. They're, they were good at it too. They're happy to get into more debt. People willingly go out of their way to get more debt. That's how much power the elites have over the American people. When you can convince people to go out and get more debt, to pay off their already existing debt, that's when you have energy dominance. And you can do whatever you want. People have uh, really gone back into a feudal society where they rent themselves and are happy to rent themselves to their lords. And we call this progress, and we call it progress, and we call this a modern civilization. It's not modern, it's regressive. But we don't I agree with you there. But we don't realize it. That's how strong the propaganda is. There's two ways to control people. In medieval times, you could you know, beat I them over the head with a club. it now. That's mm -hmm. why we voted Bush. Bush yeah. and his buddies out. Oh, please. Like, yeah, I can see the strings. There will be a big change. I can see the strings on all politicians, because they're all puppets. The strings are controlled by money. Indeed. Money and power. That's how it is. It can all be traced down to money and power and dominance. That's the truth. Thanks for listening.